and he rightly said, we can't understand man. But unfortunately, the Western science has cut man in like a machine into bits and pieces. So we have the heart, we have the lung, we have the abdomen, the liver, etc., etc. And they equate that with the machine. So they think it's all put together like a machine into a whole, which is not true. If you remember, you the day you are made in a mother's womb, you are one single cell, one single cell, which is called the zygote, which over a period of time divides and divides and divides into 120 trillion cells. And these, each cell is a, a human body itself. So the human body is a colony of 120 trillion human cells. So it works as a whole, it doesn't work in bits and pieces. One example is the lung and the heart. They do not work separately, they work together. And this can be so beautifully seen in a small child. When the child is young, small and loves everyone, each time the child breathes in, the heart runs faster. And when it breathes out, it runs slower. This is called heart rate variability. The heart rate varies with the breathing. They are mode locked to each other. This is called mode locking in uh, physics. The largest rhythm over uh, mode locks other smaller rhythms. Breathing being the largest rhythm in the human body, it mode locks everything except probably the human, the female uh, menstrual cycle. All other things are mode locked to breathing. And one of the important organs to study with the mode locking is the heart. So if you, if the heart runs faster during breathing in and slower during breathing out, that means you are in a very good state of health and your heart is very, very good. And this little child which has this, the whole thing can be made out in a simple examination of the child. If you check the pulse, then they ask the child to breathe in, pulse runs faster. Uh, to it a little slower, st uh, breathe out, it goes slow. This cannot be made out easily by any other means. But now some company has made a, a small little machine which tells you what happens to the heart rhythm while the patient breathes. This is called the HRV machine and they have done a very good job at, at it. And why we are interested in this is when a patient has got this normal HRV of a child, his heart is absolutely fine. I jokingly tell my patients, if you keep your child's heart, you will never die. Because the heart, which has no hatred, jealousy, anger, pride, greed and ego, is the heart which loves the whole world like a child's heart. And that is called a healthy HRV. Over the last year, so many years, we have done some work to show that HRV is a very good sign of the healthy heart. And HRV measurement of a given patient could give us an idea as to how good or how bad his heart is. In fact, HRV can even be predictive value. If a HRV is normal, they are very unlikely that you will get a heart attack in the near future. This can never be seen by any other method. Like for example, what we do in modern medicine today is, if you go for a checkup, they will study your coronary arteries. They will do an angiogram. It's a good business. But angiogram has nothing to do with heart attack. Angiogram can be completely, angio, the vessels can be completely blocked with atherosclerosis, but the heart can be fine because nature does lot of bypass. And before the doctor does anything, nature has already done the bypass. Otherwise, patients cannot live with 100% block. And studies have shown now that the heart attack related vessels are usually not fully blocked. There's a man called Valentine Fuster in New York who said, less than 30% of the heart attack related vessels are more than 50% blocked. Which means when there is no block, you still can get a heart attack. As a matter of fact, you get a heart attack when you have no block at all because the clot comes in a normal vessel. And if a normal vessel is blocked, then there is no collateral supply at all. And uh, the patient is liable to die suddenly. That's why young people who don't have blocks and who don't have much blocks, have, if they get a heart attack, they don't survive. But elderly people who have a lot of blocks and lot of collateral circulation, called collaterals, they live long, they get a chest pain, go to the doctor, pay them money, get an angioplasty and other things done, and they sit jug on and jug on and die a whole day. Now this is the reason why we need a better test to see how good or how bad the heart is. 
and the best test in my opinion is the heart rate variability and if you have a device to find out this in people nothing like that as a matter of fact one of my PhD students did a study and then we continued that and this work was continued in the National University in Singapore and this boy has got a big job there itself he has not come back this shows how heart rate variability is very important I am happy that a group of people Indians engineers have devised a machine which I have seen and it's quite good and they can tell you your HRV and if you know your HRV we can find out how good you are and very interesting thing is if your HRV is getting damaged we can reverse it back to the child's HRV by pranayama and yoga methods and we have done this on 100 patients who were told that they have got all vessels blocked in Bombay hospital and they were told that without the bypass surgery they will not live for more than three months and they were all poor and they didn't have the money so we took them in the yoga center in Santa Cruz and we gave them a typical heart attack preventive yoga method of pranayama and I am very happy to say now that these hundred people are still alive and we have published this in a prestigious journal already published about three years ago so this is a new invention, I mean not invention, a new moderation in heart rate assess, heart assessment. So the ideal thing is without much expense you can get your HRV done and see how good your heart is. If you are, see the, the child's heart is, has got a very marked HRV which is called arrhythmia, sinus arrhythmia but actually arrhythmia is health, rhythmia is death. If when you have, don't have this variation you are absolutely regular, you are dead. So you can make out whether your heart is good or bad by knowing how good your heart moves with the respiration and how well it is mode locked to breathing.